body and the blood have been preserved for over 1,700 years. You need to stop believing things on faith and actually examine and use a little bit of reason, a little bit of critical thinking, and look for scientific evidence. Instead of worrying about whether or not we're relying too much on evidence, on science, maybe you should try and exercise a little science. There's claims of saints' bodies being preserved perfectly. Um, these things have scientific explanations. The Catholic Church is rife with hoaxes and false stories anything to exonerate and magnify the saints. It's patently absurd if what you claim was true, everybody on earth would know it. No miracle has ever occurred. No miracle has ever been demonstrated. No miracle has ever been proven. If it did, if it had happened, everybody would know. It would be the ultimate story. There would be no atheists. There would be no significant debate on the issues. The fact is you're relying on things for no good reason. And I'm sorry that we wasted so much time to get around to a Eucharist story. By the way, which part of Jesus did it turn into? Was it the foreskin, maybe? The Bible seems extremely obsessed with foreskin. I'm betting that's what it was. Is, you know. All right, so that was a little mean. Screw it. <laughs>